Cadence of Conflict, Asia, April 22, 2019. China faces more scrutiny from its own propaganda while Taiwan searches its own soul. Taiwanese elections are fast approaching. Demagoguery is in full swing. Even the founder of Foxconn says a Chinese god told him to run for president. We could say that billionaires are the presidential trend, but Terry Goh's money is largely in China, which is planning to attack Taiwan. Trump's investments were mainly in American companies with satellite projects globally. Go can't rightly be compared to Trump. While there were proven to be unsubstantiated suspicions of a connection to Russia with Trump, Go's connection to China is both widely known and undisputed. Foxconn having 12 factories in China. Go opposes the U.S. selling weapons to Taiwan. I wonder why. If business tycoon Go were to take the de facto pro-unification KMT Nationalist Party nomination, he would need to overcome Mayor Han of Kaohsiung, a populist with little political experience whose primary vehicle of campaigning is complaint and demagoguery. Han recently accused Taiwan's military of being eunuchs in uniform, which stirred up the voters who don't like compulsory military service, but he failed to provide a solid path to making any improvements. The controlling party's incumbent president will need to face a primary challenger, the former premier and mayor William Lai, who has his own past list of non-accomplishments. While Taiwan fights with itself, China's new best friend forever is Venezuela. The press highlighted China's high-pressure work culture this week with a story about Alibaba founder Jack Ma's defense of 12-hour, six-day work weeks. Did Ma think that would make the American public more or less likely to support U.S. military action against China. Some in China are starting to see Trump as China's savior. So with a seemingly unstable Taiwan and a China with something to prove, we are approaching flashpoint where liberators will get the justification they need to come out of the woodwork and split up China like fire ants on a dead tiger. That is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.